Hi guys, I'm going to use one of my old rubber band powered cars here to answer a question whether it's better to have two rubber bands in parallel or two rubber bands in series. Now logic tells me that two in series you can stretch further but there's less power per let's say centimeter of stretch two in parallel are harder to stretch so there's more power in each centimeter of stretch but you can't stretch it as far so what I'm going to do is I won't use two separate ones I'll actually use the same pair so we get a genuine comparison but I'll rig the car up and we'll do it we'll do it this way first so I'll connect them together on that hook there and then I'll use a piece of string to get to the back axle I've drilled a hole through the back axle and put a little bit of wood through there so we can hook the rubber band on we'll do that first see how well that goes and then we'll tie them together so that they're longer. I've attached a bit of this kite string I'm using so that's nice and strong and that's just the right length to reach to that hook. On the back. So we can wind it up and see how far it goes. Well, we're outside the front door and I'm going to see how far we go right through the house. If it goes all the way to the far end and hits the wall, we've done 12 metres or thereabouts. So I'm winding it up. because there's no real way of me checking how much I've wound it in comparison. But that was a good example. We had a lot of wheel spin at the beginning there. So we've wasted a lot of energy. Same two rubber bands, but connected in series. Okay. No wheel spin. <laughs> but we hit the wall. I better try that one again. Okay, we'll do that again. So we do the full distance, no wheel spin. So, quick summary from that part of the test, because I intend to do some more. Putting the two rubber bands in parallel gives you more power, but it makes the wheels spin. Now obviously you can cure that by putting extra grip on the wheels. Putting them in series gives you less power, but you can wind it up further because you can stretch it further. 
So what are we proving here? We're not proving a great deal other than if you increase the power then you're probably going to get wheel spin.